guys are saying at least it's going to dry out a little bit later this afternoon, though. Yeah, wet for the commuters and for the school kids this morning. Uh, cold, <laughs> but yeah, dry for the ride home. I mean, you'll see some sunshine, but it's really not going to warm us too much. Exactly. Yeah, definitely yeah. chilly conditions, not only for today, but in the days to follow. But of course, the main concern, as Rebecca was mentioning as well, are these wet roadways. I mean, we had a lot of rainfall yesterday evening, continuing throughout the overnight hours and it adds up right now. We're coming in 39 degrees overlooking Music City earlier. You could see a snowflake or two flying by, but of course, by the time it makes its way to the surface, the majority of them are melting on impact 38 degrees over in Lebanon. Look how much rain you all have had since midnight, almost nine tenths of an inch. That is a lot of water. As Rebecca mentioned, watch out for the spray because we are seeing some of that standing water out on the roadways. It's a cold start and a wet one. The rain and that wintry mix is now beginning to ease out. This is not going to be an all morning or all day event. Once it wraps up, since what we are seeing just off to our western tier, we're about to finish it up for you guys. Right now we are picking up on a few snow flurries closer into Franklin as well as Nashville, but again, we're just too warm to really see a large impact from that. But it's cold for sure. Seeing some light rain around into Lewisburg, you head your way closer. Our friends just over into Hermitage Springs, seeing some moderate rain for you guys. And then just over to McMinnville, that light mist. Temperatures starting out in the 30s and 40s, but with winds ushering in out of our north, it feels colder. It feels as if we're at 27 in Hopkinsville. 26 is what it feels like in Murray. 31 in Dixon, as well as the city and Cookville. Fayetteville, it feels as if you're starting out your morning at 37. So it is cold. It is rainy, and then you've got, of course, these winds that will be with us throughout the morning hours. But then tomorrow, Winds are going to be light to kick things off and it's going to be even a colder start. But of course, Leland, everyone wants to know when's the rain <laughs> moving out and when can you go outside? All right, you can go outside a little later. The, the, the rain is over the next couple of hours. Exact track has a lot of it east of Nashville by seven. It, this is probably too fast on this, but the general idea is some scattered showers, maybe a few snowflakes mixing in during the morning time and then heading into the afternoon hours. We'll start to see clearing skies, so dry for the ride home a little bit later in the day at midday still a mainly cloudy sky you may have some hits of sunshine back around the land between the lakes area out there, but then the clouds decreasing a little bit more as we head into the evening time and overnight tonight. Meanwhile, as we go later into the night toward tomorrow, some more clouds stream back in. As we go through the day on Tuesday, you'll note some clouds in and out of the neighborhood, but mainly dry. But as this system pulls out this morning, this rain system, We've got another one we're already watching as we head into the overnight hours of Tuesday into Wednesday morning. So here comes rain. Now there may be a snowflake mixed in with this, but this is again mainly a rain event for us out there. Uh, as you see Wednesday morning looking soggy. And then as we head into Wednesday afternoon, this too beginning to pull away. But a real sky does show the cloud cover uh, that is in place over the area. That good north wind adding an extra bite to the air today. Here now your seven day forecast. For today, 46, 28 tonight, 48 tomorrow. There's that next rain chance coming our way on a Wednesday. And then, Nikki D, we're just still talking chilly weather all week long. Truly so. Our coldest afternoon is actually going to be taking place Thursday, 44. But we'll have some sunshine to help us out. Tumbling back into the 20s on Friday. A few outlying areas could be in the upper teens by the afternoon, 50. Do have some rain chances back Saturday and Sunday. At this time, they are not looking like an all-day event. But, of course, we'll fine-tune that as we get closer to the weekend. All